Now I was barely 17 with a pocket full of hope Screaming dollar in a dream with my closet looking broke And my niggas looking clean getting caught up with that dope Have you ever Mazuma TV back with another video Alright guys, I've been hearing this all around the the internet, you know what I'm saying? I don't know a legit source. I don't think it was from Boxer Scene or whatever. But uh, regardless of all of that, Chris Eubank Jr. and Tony Bell, you got it in on uh, social media, on Twitter. And um, Chris Eubank is pretty much calling out Tony Bell, you. And the reason why this is this is funny to me, and if you guys don't know, Chris Eubank is a 160, 168 pounder, and he just got the IBO strap from um, super middleweight division, so that's 168. And Tony Bellew is a cruiserweight that had just moved up to heavyweight to face David Hay. And um, this shit is funny as hell, man, because... Uh, I thought this was just talk, you know what I'm saying? I thought just Chris Eubank Jr. was just talking out his ass like he usually does because he loves to call out everybody, but no fights ever get made for some reason, so you know the, the finger's going to point at him at the end of the day because um, you talk all that shit and then you end up not being in the ring and these fighters be down to actually fight you. But um, what, what's funny about this shit is that Chris Eubank Sr., his father, shout out to him, a legend, he... Reached out to Eddie Hearn, which is uh, Tony Bellew's promoter, and he said, "Would you like to have a chat about this?" And Hearn was like, "What the fuck? Like, are you serious? Like, no, I don't want to talk about it." And he went to Tony Bellew to see if <laughs> if there was any kind of interest or to just tell him about it. And Tony Bellew thought it was an absolute joke, and I think he's right in feeling that way because I think that's a joke as well. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is that? A middle a middle slash super middleweight. Going up to heavyweight the fight him, you know what I'm saying? Like I have heard crazy shit like that. Roy Jones had attempted shit like that, but he wasn't he wasn't at a full 160 at the time. He had definitely moved up in weight classes. And let's keep it real, the heavyweight that he had been facing wasn't the most dominant heavyweight of all time. John Ruiz, uh, he I think Roy Jones definitely saw some holes and chinks in his armor, so he definitely took advantage of that to make history. But besides all of that, man, this is an absolute joke. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with Eubank Jr. Like, I I love the confidence, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, he do a weigh-in, and then he going over here hitting mitts, and then he looking into the camera talking about, I don't know why everybody's scared of Gennady Golovkin. I'm on your head. All this crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the confidence. I like his charisma. But uh, you got to keep it realistic at the end of the day. I don't even think Tony Bellew is even considering fighting anymore. I saw an interview on IFL TV where he says that he's heavily contemplating retirement and that other people are urging him not to retire, but he's really considering it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Tony Bellew takes the sport of boxing serious anymore. You saw how he came in and the David Hay way and this nigga looked like... Uh, just like one of them, uh, part like a full time dad out here, you know what I'm saying? Like a full time baseball coach and shit. Look, 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 a little sloppy, little love handles and shit. And um, despite all of that, despite all how on how his how he looked physically, he was able to get the job done and got uh David Hay out of there. Despite the ruptured Achilles, I heard that shit snapped in half. And I seen him when he was bouncing on his toes, and I actually saw how he came down on his leg while he was fighting on his toes, and that shit just looked bad, man. And when I initially watched, I thought that David Hay was walking like that because he had, I thought he had the noodle legs. I thought uh, Tony Bellew hit him with some shit, but you know he was able to get him out of there nonetheless, knocked him out the ropes. But uh, Tony Bellew, I think he's just done with the sport of boxing. It seems as if a lot of British fighters don't really get into the sport of boxing because they want to solidify their legacy. I'm not saying that all of them, you know, like, I'm not saying they don't give a fuck about their legacy, but it seems like a lot of these guys just come in for the money and then they route, you know what I'm saying, like Nassim Hamed. I don't know if it was that loss against Barrera that necessarily had him um, mentally defeated, but I feel like he they just give up. Ricky Hatton, um... Tyson Fury, he got his money. He was saying on the on the uh, f uh, gloves off interview that he just wanted the money. He don't care. He doesn't care about his legacy or whatever. Uh, you know, it's just a lot of stuff. Like these fighters don't even care. You know, and I don't blame them because this is a brutal sport. But 
you know, it is what it is. Shout out to you, Bay Jr. That shit was a little funny thing going on. And uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. None, uh, let's see what happens afterwards, because you, Bay Jr. still doesn't have an opponent lined up. Oh, uh, man, I would love to see him fight Triple G, though, man. I want to see what he got. I still have some kind of belief in him. I think his only loss is to Billy Joe Saunders. Um, I would like to see a rematch between them if that Gennady Golovkin fight doesn't go through. I would love to see either him or Billy Joe fight each other, man. Let's just see, man. But, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, man. Shout out to, to both of these fighters, man. I hope that they continue to go on. And I hope Tony Bellew doesn't retire because he's definitely a personality that we need in the sport. But y'all let me know what y'all guys think about this. This is Mizuma TV, and I'm out.